Did you know that Wonder Woman was into bondage? That she once voluntarily gave up her powers? That she ran for president? Here are a few fun facts about Wonder Woman to celebrate her long overdue feature film debut. Wonder Woman was created by William Moulton Marston. He was an interesting cat, a psychologist, a writer, an inventor, a feminist, and he was a BDSM enthusiast. Kinky. Or is it? His perspective was that Wonder Woman had to be bound so that she could escape as a kind of symbolic emancipation. What's more, the early Wonder Woman comics drawn by Harry G. Peter are filled with bondage imagery, which was gaining visibility at the time. We think it's fascinating that his progressive views became an instrumental part of Diana's ongoing persona and her weaponry. Like her creator, Diana Prince is no stranger to controversy. She's been called out for everything from her revealing uniform to her short-lived status as UN ambassador. But one of the most hot-button eras in her life has to be the early 1970s, when she was stripped of her powers and her weapons. Believe it or not, comic book creators Dennis O'Neill and Mike Sikowski's intentions were good. They wanted to usher in a new era for Wonder Woman, one that could inspire independence, feminist pride, and ambition, embracing her identity as Diana Prince, boutique owner, martial artist, and super spy. This iteration of Diana was strong, intelligent, adventurous, and sharply dressed. But the negative feedback from fans all over the world on this new direction snowballed. Gloria Steinem herself denounced this new powerless Wonder Woman, claiming that the superheroine was now anti-feminist, the exact opposite reaction the two comic book creators were hoping for. This evolution of the iconic superhero was short-lived, and soon enough, Wonder Woman returned to her former demigoddess self. In 1943, Wonder Woman ran for president of the United States against her love interest, Steve. She lost the race, but her identity as feminist icon remains. When Marston first created Wonder Woman, his goal was to build an icon for little girls. Wonder Woman got a big boost when she appeared on the first cover of the feminist magazine, Ms. The magazine's headline, Wonder Woman for President, was in many ways a callback to Marston's original rendering of the character, and a direct reaction to the treatment Wonder Woman was getting in the comics at the time. Did you know that for one brief, not-so-shining moment in pop culture, Miss Adrienne Palicki also donned the wristbands and crown to play the Amazonian princess? The David E. Kelly-written pilot never aired, though. Uproxx TV critic Alan Sepinwall even described it as embarrassing. It was all I had feared and more. Thankfully, we can report with confidence that Wonder Woman the film is an achievement and could be the best in this latest crop of DCU movies. But don't take my word for it. Let us know your reactions to the film in the comments below and keep coming back to HitFix.